Hi everyone, my name is Brad McLaren, aka McLaren Design, and this is my review for the Brazilian Grand Prix of uh, Sauber F1 team. Uh, first off, congratulations to Sauber, and thank you to everyone who participated. Um, Sauber was able to get over 50,000 followers, making them fourth on the Google Plus grid of Formula One teams. Uh, so big, big congratulations and good job. Uh, sadly, we didn't meet the deadline, so no red hair, but I've still got it with me. So we'll do something at the end of the season or prior to the next season. It's not going anywhere. Um, first off, practice on Friday. We saw higher temperatures than expected. Uh, everyone was anticipating some rain and sadly we got none. Um, that reflected in the car's performance and they perform where they had been usually all year with uh, Esteban getting 15th and Adrian getting 14th roughly in, uh, in times on uh, qualifying or practice. Uh, in qualifying the next day, we did see cooler temperatures. And uh, as I predicted for Austin or in Austin, um, they were able to reflect that in the performance of the car and get the cars closer to Q3. Um, although neither made it to Q3, um, Esteban did lock in 11th place and Adrian started 13th. So we could have been in. We had an opportunity. And with rain, it would have been a lot easier, but there's no rain. Like, none. In fact, all throughout the race, we saw higher temperatures. Um, sadly, Adrian wasn't able to make the grid, so he had to start all the way at the back. But we had Esteban on 11, and through, as the race played out, he was able to make the tires last just a little bit longer and go a little bit deeper into the uh, stints. But after the last stint, uh, temperature played a, t a terrible role and uh, dropped his pace off. Um, both Esteban and Adrian finishing outside of the points, once again, uh, in 14th and 16th. Um, one of the big topics over the weekend was the way that Formula One distributes the money. Um, I understand this is a big, huge topic and it's really difficult uh, subject to tackle. I didn't see how it would continue. You can't give uh, a certain teams that kind of advantage without it being at the detriment of the smaller teams. There's no way a smaller team can get up to that higher tier unless it's by crook <laughs> because they use the hook just to get into Formula One. So I definitely think that there's a better way that it can be done and I urge everyone to, uh, to voice your opinion. Take a banner to a track. And, and, and voice your concerns at Abu Dhabi if you're going. And if you're going, take a cowbell. Um, but also, get the word out on the social media, how you feel via Twitter, Facebook, or whatnot. Provide some ideas. Formula One doesn't necessarily have to be as piranha as the piranhas would like to make it. Um, voice your opinions. Offer ideas. The, the best thing you can do is is offer how you would fix the solution. And uh, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Good luck, Salver. Uh, deal's still open. If you get points, I'll shave your logo into my head. <laughs>